for this final segment, I'd like to talk about your, 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 your final term as, as governor of Batangas. This is your second uh, run, second stint, right? Uh, um, what, is, what legacies do you want to leave behind, and uh, what are some of the things that you'd like to, um, the, na like the national audience to, to, to look at about what's happening in Batangas? I, I would like really to show what could be done if we have local autonomy. Okay, so you're the showcase for yes. the, the, the implementation of the Mandanas rule. Yes, and we are blessed with a lot of resources. Okay. So since the time that the, up to now, you know, uh, Batangas, I would consider, would be a leader mm -hmm. from the point of view of for several areas. Mm -hmm. In power, for example, we were able to attract uh, the power plants that right now we are the most powerful province. Mm -hmm. huh? And now we are just this morning I was talking with people on renewable energy, wow. solar, and uh, because I mean, we, we right now are using 3,000 3, megawatts of our plants, okay. are using natural gas, okay. 1,325 uh, using coal. Mm -hmm. We only have 100. Okay. Megawatts for solar okay. and 200 using geothermal. That's still a lot, yeah. Yeah, so uh, we are the most powerful. I mean, our generation capacity now is over mm -hmm. what even required just by, metro, by the whole Metro Manila. Mm -hmm. The whole Metro Manila, you read in the newspaper every day, we peak year in Metro Manila at 4,900 megawatts. Okay. We're producing actual production right now. 3,000, I mean, 5,375 yeah. wow. megawatts. Of course, not only for Metro Manila, it's for all. For all the, for the entire and we still have, Yeah, and we still have 2,500 under construction right now. Wow. Okay? And we are developed, we have been using, but of course we realize that Malampaya okay. will be depleted probably in two, three years' time. So. Mm -hmm. We have already the companies there uh, putting up their own gasification, importing liquid, liquefied, converting into gas, wow. to fuel. And here we are also uh, now going to uh, windmill mm -hmm. and expanding our solar. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are number one, of course, is on petrochemical, mm -hmm. the only petrochemical plant in the whole country mm -hmm. that is operating. And we are starting with NAFTA, the... the Naphtaline? Yeah. yeah. Uh, for producing the pellets, polyesterine, right. polyethylene, right. which is for our plastic. Right. Uh, so when it comes to uh, transportation, mm -hmm. we have been the gateway of when it comes to sea transportation. We have three times more passengers mm -hmm. than, uh, than the Port of Manila. Right. So, but that has to be improved still. Yes. Because we are behind when it comes to cargo. Right. I know. In and the, uh, it's simple. Since I became governor, you know, our, I, I saw that really the tremendous delay mm. of our port development. Mm. It was planned already in 1984 mm -hmm. under the Marcos administration. Mm -hmm. Really, to make Batangas, to decongest. Manila, Manila yeah. to make this really the port. Right. But then, during, and they, they, they approved never everything. Yeah. But then, of course, we had the People's Revolution. Yeah. And for the entire period of six years, not a single stone Nothing was turned. <laughs> okay? Fortunately, the time of, of uh, FBR, yeah. it started, and Gloria Macapagal Arroyo mm -hmm. really pushed it. Okay. And so, but still, we were only up to phase two of phase four. Oh my. Even so, now? Even now you're still... Yes. Wow. Okay. The phase three hasn't been started yet. Okay. So that's why even the first time I was governor, this is one of... Uh, we said, well, let the local government do it. Mm -hmm. This uh, was in the 90s, you were saying? Yes. yes. Okay. That was in 2000 and during the early 2000, before I, during my first right, run first. for governor. Right. Well, at that time, uh, they say, okay, you do this for sure. But right. it happened that it ended my term. And of course, <laughs> the next ones didn't continue. Right. But the same in agriculture, you mm -hmm. know, our food terminal. Has, so I found there an idle asset of the national government. Oh, my. 
So we bought it from the Board of Liquidators. Okay. But again, uh, I ended my term, but during the term now, President Duterte, with Sunny Dominguez, immediately sold it to us. Hmm. Now we're developing it. Wow. Huh? But now I'm fighting because it is very important, the port. Yeah. So was able to swing that the ASEAN logistics okay. be done in Batangas. Okay. Because again, the government has more than 100 hectares idle, mm -hmm. the former Caltech Chevron. Yes. We have been trying to, to say, okay, you lead this to us. Okay. It's vacant. Right. Nothing is happening. Oh, not it's productive. A, it's yeah. along the shoreline. Yeah. It was so, but no, no action. I, now, hopefully, we're going to do it. Hopefully. So these are the things that I want to do yeah. in transportation, in, in giving employment to the people. Right. And we are blessed right. with tremendous base. Yeah. Huh? That's why our, our land now is so expensive. We, we are producing in steel. We are uh -huh. still number one mm. with Steel Asia there and others. Uh, and mm -hmm. they are expanding. Going, going back to the port, um, you know, the, the dream then was most of the traffic in Metro Manila will be resolved because much of that of container is just a no-brainer. Yeah. It's really a no-brainer. I can sense your frustration again, but uh, I guess this is where you're talking about all of this coordination with the national government, the RDC, the local yes, government, yes. should be happening. Is that, is that correct? Well, they should be doing their job, not helping. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, doing their job. Okay. So, that, could you imagine that port? Uh, there are issues okay. that have to be solved. So that, that is the fight okay. to really have local autonomy. If right. But it would be different from in Batangas as it is in Cavite. Absolutely. As it is in, uh, Absolutely. You know, there we have an air base of the military from the first term. I said, why don't we make it uh, dual use, not mm -hmm. only military? Mm -hmm. It should be like William Moore. Mm -hmm. Which is military and yeah. and civilian, yeah, right. commercial, right. and fighting. Right. President uh, FBR gave me approval down the line. Couldn't work it out. Hmm. So up to now, you know, it's also a no-brainer mm -hmm. that Batangas, which is a port and all that, will have a, a viable airport. Now, uh, we already offered. We yeah. have the land. Yeah. Have, no, it it's frustrating. I, I, can, I, can, I can tell. But um, I know I have given up already. We have a railroad, okay, which I offered already to take over, We're using our own funds. Wow. Okay, uh, because we can do it. Yeah. And it could. It can be done. Yeah. But no, they want to give it up. Oh my. But um, you, you were saying a while ago that part of part of the work that you were that the local government is doing is really to elevate the skill set of the local local officials through the academy and through other programs. And through implementation of the law, is that how to do it? Implementation of the law. Just playing devil's advocate, is there any legitimate concern about maybe absorbed capacity, about the, about the, the, the lack of uh, sophistication in finance uh, of local officials that maybe justify a slower rollout? Um, that, that, that is really the uh, issue. Okay. He says the national government thinks that they are the most honest, the more honest than local, <laughs> okay. that they are more, they are better people. They know better than... than they know better. Yeah. We, have, we admit they know better when it comes to uh, national issues. Right. Functions of the national government, of the central government. But are, what we want only are the issues of the local. This is what we could done. I mean, we are just sergeants. They are the general. Right. But there are functions which the sergeants can do better than the general. Yeah, and you're at the front line. You're the one that... Yes. Uh, we're, we're just sergeants. We're dealing with the people. At yeah. the most. Yeah. We, we're just sergeants. But the sergeants are the ones who are dealing with the squad. That's right. And they're the ones who go out in the fields. That's right. They're the ones holding the guns. Right. And they're, you're the ones who have to answer yes. to them when they have... Uh, problems with the national government. But they, they are very good in the general. But what we do not want yeah. and should not be done is that the generals are the ones going to the trenches. Right, right. As if they know the, the, yeah. the, the nuances, yeah. Governor, I... So I, that is yeah. the legacy that I would like to leave behind. I, I, it's not... It's the improvement 
of Batangas, mm -hmm. which is, well, you could see it yeah. right now. So, and then to be, to be able to inspire others to do it, right. to help the others to do it, right. I mean, in our humble way. Right. So you, you, I mean, I, I wish you luck, and I hope that you will, before you uh, step down from office, can proudly say that Batangas is the example of what can well, be done. It's, if it's our are, tradition. Yeah. You have Apolinario Mabini who started our constitution. Mm -hmm. huh? You have Miguel Malval mm -hmm. who fought it out mm -hmm. against the Americans and the Spaniards also. And now we have Dodo Mandanas in no. today's time to, to show us how it's done. Before, before we go, Governor, maybe would you like to give a, a message to, to our viewers? Uh, I hope that maybe someone from the Congress and Malacanang are watching this. Maybe you'd like to uh, give some parting words for them. I, I think it's very difficult to say it in few words, okay. but I think our program has really conveyed a lot of it. Okay. It, it, it's time now really for action. Huh? And action means let us follow not only natural law, mm -hmm. but even our uh, written laws. Mm -hmm. So that's it. And I can assure you that we, if we fulfill our, what, our oath to our flag, Panata sa ating bandila, mm -hmm. we will really be able to you know, do it, as we said, always makajos. Makakapwatao, makakalikasan, makabansa. I think we will be able to say that we will be able again to be a dignified people, respected people. Ang mga Pilipino, taas noo, kahit kanino. Thank you, Governor. Isang makatotohanan na interview.